Hello, friends. My name is Dr. Chris Confer. I'm going to take my mask off now. This is a moment of extreme uh, experience for higher education. I know that many of you are dealing with COVID-19 in your own ways, uh, and we're dealing with it here as well. Again, my name is Dr. Chris Confer. I am the Vice President of Student Life for Southern Wesleyan University, and that's where I'm actually broadcasting from today. Uh, I have had a, a good experience with this process, but man, I can tell you I've never worked harder in my life uh, for us to be prepared to try to do face-to-face -face and accommodate students' needs and faculty and staff needs and all those things for this season. I know that many of you are in the same experience where things are unsettled, uh, where it doesn't feel like it normally should, and it just, it's, just feels different. Uh, but I'm excited to teach this class this semester. Uh, this is, I think, my 14th year of teaching this class, uh, and I really, really do enjoy it. I find that this is one of those classes that has an impact on students' lives, ministry, and calling uh, all at the same time. And so I'm excited for you to join us in this uh, journey together. You can tell that I'm in a gymnasium. I'm actually in the basketball gymnasium, and you're going to say, what in the world is he doing broadcasting from a gymnasium? Well, Here's the deal. Uh, in our lectures, I like to try to do things that are a little out of the box. Uh, I've gone back to Arkansas this summer and refilmed uh, or filmed the majority of the lectures uh, that you're going to see from different places that are hopefully familiar to those of you from Northwest Arkansas. Uh, but I uh, also believe that it helps to kind of ingrain things. And so we're here at the basketball uh, arena or gym as a way to say, uh, that when you look at sports, every good sport has to have a great game plan. Uh, last year, our, uh, our student athletes ended up, our basketball, men's basketball team went to the championship of Conference Carolinas, and it was an amazing a journey. Uh, the guys played hard and played with heart, and it was, it was an exciting experience. But it didn't happen without a really good game plan. Uh, in the same sense, today we're going to talk about the game plan. Uh, for our course together this semester. It's important to know how to navigate it. It's important to know how to play it, if you will, uh, but it's important to get the most out of it and the biggest benefit uh, is knowing where you're going and how you're gonna get there. So we're gonna talk about some of those things today. I'm gonna transition over and try to share my screen with you. I'm gonna talk a little bit about myself real quick and then we'll uh, talk about uh, some of the syllabus stuff. I did wanna do a brief introduction. I'm actually from St. Joseph, Michigan, uh, which is up in, uh, up in Michigan on the West Coast side. Uh, that's where I grew up for the majority of my life. I then went to Anderson University in Anderson, Indiana, uh, where I met my wife, Michelle. I graduated with undergrad degree, went on to get my Master's of Divinity with emphasis in pastoral care and counseling. And that's how I got into the whole counseling experience. I love counseling with individuals uh, in the church, but also uh, uh, yeah, publicly and, and the practice side of things. Uh, it, but I really felt called to go into higher education. Uh, and so from there, I actually went to John Brown University and was there for 11 years. Uh, while I was there, uh, you can see my wife in the picture. We actually met Anderson and got married there, uh, but at JBU, I ended up getting my doctorate of higher education uh, in higher education administration was the emphasis there. Uh, but while I was at JBU, I did a multitude of things in student life. And uh, one of the things that I did was for seven years, I was the director of career development. And that's where I really honed my skills of counseling individuals uh, who need help discovering where God is calling them to go to unlock their passions and values and all of those things. And so I'm excited to share and relay that information with you. You may say, well, but are you actually still doing it? And the answer is yes, I do it all the time. Uh, my, my shift, instead of being with the student population now, oftentimes with alumni, it's with friends. Uh, honestly, it's with many of the people that I work with. In fact, this last week, I had an hour and a half conversation. It was essentially, it was a counseling session without being called that, uh, with one of my coworkers who just really is frustrated with, with where they're at. And so we talked about all the things that we're gonna talk about in this class and, and employed several of the, the, the tools that you're gonna learn about this semester. So the answer is yes. Well, it may not be in the traditional sense of a, a traditional career counselor. I'm still engaged in this work. And I really do enjoy it. I'm also a huge fly fisherman. I love to fly fish for trout specifically, but anywhere that I can get a rod in the water, um, I, I do love to fly fish. And finally, this is my wife and my daughter, uh, Michelle and Caroline. Uh, you will hear a few stories uh, about Michelle, at least. Uh, I've tried to leave Caroline out. 
uh, throughout this, uh, the lectures uh, this semester. Uh, but Caroline uh, is uh, 10 years old. Uh, she loves to be extroverted. In fact, my wife and I are both a little bit more on the introverted side, and we're not sure where she came from. Uh, but we desperately love her, and uh, she's a lot of fun to be around. So that's a little bit about myself. Uh, your assignment this week, uh, in, a, in a little bit, you can tuck off and, and go do this. Uh, but on the discussion board, I want you to post your name, where you're at in the progression of the program, what do you most hope to gain from this class, what did you always want to do when you were little, what was that dream job that you had uh, when, when you were little, and then what who do you most admire for their work and why? Um, that doesn't have to be an academic person. That could be uh, someone else in your life, a role model, a coach, a teacher, uh, a professional, uh, a, a, yeah, spiritual leader. Uh, you get to pick. Uh, but I think this is a good way for us to get to know each other, uh, and I'm excited to learn about you. Now, for this one journal, you don't have to worry about having uh, cited other journal articles uh, for this discussion board post. Uh, but you will need to at least post this. You, you're welcome to do it in a video format and post a link to the video, or you're welcome just to type it out. Uh, it's it's up, up to you to decide how you want to uh, engage with that, that assignment this week. Uh, we're going to talk about the syllabus next. Uh, this syllabus uh, is something that has been a work in progress for a number of years, but I, I think it's been continually fine-tuned. Uh, at the end of the semester, you're going to get a survey uh, about the class, and I really want you to fill that out. It gives me good feedback about what worked and what didn't, and honestly, every year I tweak some things uh, in this process. So I'm excited for you to, to jump in with us. If you need to get a hold of me, the best opportunity is via email, honestly. I did provide my cell phone number in case you needed it, uh, but email, I check my JBU email regularly. Um, in fact, daily, I look at it just to make sure that there's nothing in there that's, that's hanging out that I need to address. Um, but yeah, please feel free to email me. We can set up a time to Zoom or to talk on the phone or FaceTime, whatever works for you. Um, but yeah, that, that's my contact information. Also, require checkbooks. You're going to need all three of these. We're going to use them heavily throughout the semester. I promise your money will not be wasted uh, from the sense of, of needing those. So go ahead and make sure that you've got those ready to go. The next are recommended textbooks. Uh, in my journey uh, in career counseling, I found that there are other resources that are often helpful as supplements, especially if you decide at the end of this course, man, I thought I was doing marriage and family and I'm still gonna finish up in that area, but I really, really like career counseling. Um, these are some great resources. The other reality for this class are, are two, twofold. One of them is if you are a marriage and family or uh, just doing a regular counseling uh, degree, the reality is that many times you're going to be working with individuals and the source of what's really going on underneath the surface has to do with their work or their job and they're needing some kind of a shift or they can't get a work or can't get a job uh, or it's money and finances and their job isn't meeting those either. And so when you think about the root cause of a lot of, of conflict in marriages and in relationships, a lot of it does honestly come down to work and to, to jobs, to finances, all those are a part of it. And so I, I believe that these will be tools for you throughout this course uh, that you will use in, in your ministry and your counseling uh, going forward. There are going to be some of you that decide, man, I love this. I didn't even know that career counseling was a thing, <laughs> that you could actually do that for a living. Uh, the good news is if that's the boat that you're in, uh, unfortunately, we're about to hit a recession, I, I, I think, um, and it's probably going to rival that of what it was four or five years ago. Uh, but the reality is that uh, for someone who is excellent in career counseling, there's going to be an opportunity going forward. Um, there's going to be opportunity for you to help people to retool, to figure out and discover what God's really calling them to do. Um, and to unleash some of those things. We also have a huge baby boomer population that's right now heading into retirement. My folks are in, in that group. Uh, and the reality is that those folks often don't want to stop working. They're just, they've maybe ha are secure enough financially to make that, that change or that shift. Um, but they're also going to go through an identity crisis in it, many of them anyway, uh, in that process. And so the, these tools, this course, will also help you to guide and, and to work through those conversations as well. You can read, so I'm not going to read through all the objectives of the class. I believe that this is really intentional. The last thing that I do want to talk about is the KCREP accreditation. I think that's wonderful that JBU is working through that. The other part of this course and the other side that I need to share with you is that this course directly prepares you for the NCE exam, the National Counseling Exam. 
Uh, the reality is that there is a section in there on career counseling. And I know from uh, recent folks who have gone through this class, if you go through the class, if you do the work, if you learn the material, uh, the beauty is that you're gonna be able to do really well on the back side of that. So I would encourage you to do that. The last thing is that there are some, uh, a course calendar here, and we're gonna stick directly to that. Please uh, take note of that. These are the, this, the assignments and the grading opportunities uh, for the course. There is going to be a participation and disposition assignment, and we'll go through that uh, in week 15 and, and walk through that process for each one of you. Uh, there's also a discussion board. Basically every week you've got to have a discussion board post. You need to have two peer-reviewed resources, so journal articles, uh, talk to the library, use the online side of the library to get those. Uh, you also need to have two response posts uh, for, from your initial, uh, initial posts. Uh, your initial post, however, has to be 250 to 500 words. So essentially, you need to have three posts all together for the semester, uh, and that will help you to, to get to that. Um, Sunday ends every week, so those, those journal articles are due every Sunday evening by midnight. Uh, there's a job loss interview. Uh, for this assignment, you're going to go find someone who's lost their job within the last seven years, and uh, you're going to go interview them. You're going to find out about why they lost their job, uh, your job is not to counsel them in this course because you're not licensed at this point, but your job is to ask those initial questions to find out uh, the theological things that were an experience, maybe some grief that they're still dealing with or disappointment or shame or guilt. Um, and then I want you to take one of the career theories after we've gone through all of that and choose the best one to apply to that specific person. And you're going to apply that information. You're going to uh, assess based on your conversation with that person why that theory is the best one and I want you to write about that. Again, you're not going to take them through any of the inventories or any of that, but I want you to, to kind of apply the things that we're learning in class in an intentional way. Finally, we've got two book studies. These are two of my favorite books uh, that are out there on this topic of both career and work and God's work and calling. That's every good endeavor and one on grief. You won't touch grief in the rest of your program in an intentional way. Um, I really do believe that when people lose their job, they're grieving a lot of things, even if it's voluntary. Uh, they're grieving loss of friends and coworkers. They're grieving some of their identity in that shift. Uh, and if it was a violent transition where they were fired or, or let go uh, in, a, in a violent kind of a way, uh, often there's unresolved grief that needs to be dealt with. And so there are two live sessions. They're the only two for the entire semester. First one's Wednesday, Wednesday September 16th at 7 p.m. and November 5th at 7 p.m. Uh, those are both Zoom links in those weekly assignments. So if you go into Blackboard, you obviously found this one, which is great. Uh, but every week has its own weekly assignments and everything is due that's due that week is in that weekly assignment for you. Uh, you will need to, to uh, do a, um, yeah, a, a, yeah, those handbooks. And then if you miss that time, we're going to record it and you need to do a two page uh, reflection on both the live discussion and incorporating the book. Finally, there's a final exam. There is a study guide in the resources part of, the, of Blackboard there, so I'd encourage you to go get that study guide, fill it out as you go along in the semester. I promise that nothing that is on the final, I promise that everything on the final exam is also in the study guide. The study guide also covers other things that are going to be important for your NCE exam, and so if you study, you put a, together a really good study guide, uh, you also are going to do really well on the NCE exam if you use that as your study guide for that as well. So again, my job is to prepare you for that and for your, your life and that experience. There are other things in here. Uh, you're welcome to read through those, uh, and, and I would definitely encourage you to. Uh, we won't have inclement weather because we're online. Uh, if any of you does end up experiencing COVID-19 this semester, please reach out to me um, if, if you're unable or you get to the point where you're sick and are unable to do assignments, don't ghost me. Uh, please hang in there. Uh, and again, please overly communicate what's going on and I'm willing to work with you. What I can't do is if you don't communicate, I can't work with you. Also, I get this every semester. Is there extra credit? The answer is no. This is a graduate counseling class and in graduate classes, uh, my policy is no extra credit. So please get on top of your work, stay on top of it and get it done. And we're gonna have a great semester together. Thanks so much. I'm excited to connect with you all in the next uh, couple of uh, weeks as we continue with discussion board posts and then the live posts yet to come. Have a great week.